Hello friends, this video on comparing quantities part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the first parameter that we will discuss to compare quantities is ratio. So what is ratio? It is a comparison of two quantities, two independent quantities. So let us take this example of height of your sister and your height. Now your height is independent of the height of your sister. Similarly, your sister's height is independent of your height, right? So these are two different quantities. One quantity is your height. The other quantity is your sister's height. So in this case, let us say this is your sister and this is you. So sister's height is 150 centimeters. Your height is 130 centimeters. So if I ask you what is the ratio of your sister's height to your height. So the, what would be the ratio? The ratio would basically be your sister's height which is 150 centimeters divided by your height, which is 130 centimeter. So this would be nothing by 15 by 13. So how do we express a ratio? It is always represented like this. 15 is to 13. That basically shows that the ratio of the heights of the two sisters is 15 is to 13. Right. So this is how we express ratio. Now there are another ways of expressing ratio. So this was just one way where you have values of both the quantities and you find the ratio. Another way could be let us say that in a scenario you say that your sister's height is twice that of your height. So if it is told that sister's height, so not with this example, what I'm saying is let, let's say that there, there are another two sisters where you say that sister's height is twice as your height. So in that case, how would you write the ratio? So the ratio in that case would be equal to 2 divided by 1. That means if the height of the sister is 2, then your height would be 1 because sister's height is twice as that of your height. So this would be written as 2 is to 1. So what it actually means? It means that if your height is x, if your height is 10, sister's height would be 2 into 10. If your height is 50, sister's height would be 2 into 50. So it, it actually means that if your height is x, your sister's height is 2x. Similarly, in this case, it means that if your height is x, then what would be your sister's height? Now, in this case, it means that if your height is 13x, your sister's height would be 15x. So, let us consider some variable x. So, if your height is 13x, your sister's height would be 15x. So, that is the meaning. So, please understand this. So, this actually means that if your height is 13x, then your sister's height is 15x. Now once you know the exact value of x, you will be able to know the exact height of yours and your sister's. Similarly, in this case, it means that if your height is x, your sister's height is 2x. So if you know the value of x, you can get the heights of both the sisters. Now another very crucial thing about finding ratios is that you need to ensure that both the quantities are have the same units. For example here you have both the quantities in centimeters. So that is very important. You cannot have one quantity in meter and the other quantity in centimeter. So that will not do. So you need to have both the quantities in the same unit. So to compare two quantities, the units must be same. Now, do you want to see what will happen if units are different? So let us look at this example. So let us say that uh, we assume ki, uh, it, your height. So your height is given as 1300 millimeter and your sister's height is given as 150 centimeter. Now, if you are asked to find the ratio, now if you want to find the ratio, now you need to ensure that both these heights are in the same units. So either you convert 1300 millimeter to centimeter or you convert 150 centimeters into millimeter. So you can do either of these. So to find out the ratio, let's say that we keep the sister's height as 150 centimeter and we decide to convert millimeter into centimeter. So how do you convert millimeter to centimeter by dividing it by 10? 
So you divide it by 10 and you get it in centimeters. So what do you get? You get 150 by 130 which is equal to 15 is to 13. So this is the ratio of the height of your sister and yours. Now just think of the situation in case you would have not converted the millimeter into centimeter. In that case your ratio would have been 130 is to 15. Right? So it would have been a different ratio altogether. So it that would be misleading. Therefore whenever you want to compare two quantities make sure that they have the same unit. And even if they do not have the same unit, convert them into the same unit. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.